Thank you for participating in Simbox. We are excited to have you and your team join us to practice your pediatric skills with a facilitator. The purpose of this session is to practice the first 10 minutes of management of an acutely ill pediatric patient presenting to your ED. The format will involve a 5-minute pre-brief, a 10-minute simulation scenario, and a 15-minute facilitated debriefing. This session can be conducted with learners and facilitators all in person, some people in person and some online, or all learners online. Please pause the video now to introduce yourselves to each other and restart after you have completed introductions. We believe that everyone participating in today's Simbox session is intelligent, capable, cares about doing their best, and wants to improve pediatric care. Some ground rules for today's session. Fiction contract. We know that many aspects of the session are not realistic and ask that you do your best to suspend disbelief and take this seriously. Similar to Disney World, if you engage in this artificial experience, you will get the most out of it. Confidentiality. We ask that you all commit to the mantra of what happens in Sim stays in Sim. We ask that both the facilitators and participants agree to not share today's experiences outside of this group. The Simbox aims to challenge you with a simulated case in order to identify both successes and opportunities for improvement while practicing on plastic so that lessons from Sim will save lives of your future real patients. Mistakes are puzzles to be solved, not crimes to be punished. The format of the simulation will involve seeing pictures and or videos of a patient or parent, a vital sign monitor, and an overlying picture of the patient. You will have a facilitator present, either online or in person, who will serve as your eyes and ears related to the physical exam and respond to questions about the history. You are welcome to use any cognitive aids or resources in your workplace and or online. We ask that you have a team leader and roles similar to your typical workflow. If you are a team that is participating in an in-person sim, please physically use the equipment and medications available to you. If you are a team that is participating in a virtual sim online, please verbalize the equipment and medications you would use in the scenario. We recognize that things can get confusing during a simulation, and we ask that you use the power of timeout. This power allows you or the facilitator to state time out and pause the simulation video. This can be used to correct technical issues and or to allow for a brief huddle about the case. The case will begin with a brief communication followed by a two minute countdown to assemble your team, assign roles and obtain equipment required for patient care. At the end of the case, you will be prompted to provide a handover of information and then transition to the debriefing. Finally, do your best and have fun. Let's begin. You will hear a brief EMS patch from an ambulance and then see a two minute countdown clock as you prepare for the arrival of the patient. You will now hear the EMS dispatch. This is EMS. We're coming in with an eight year old boy with a generalized tonic clonic seizure. He has no history of recent illness, trauma, or prior seizures. He has been seizing for at least five minutes and we're about to give him intranasal midazolam. We will arrive in two minutes. Assemble your team, assign roles, and obtain equipment required for patient care.
Hi, this is the Pediatric Critical Care Transport Team. Your charge nurse called us and we got here as fast as possible. Can you please provide sign out about this child? What's going on? You will now work with your team and facilitator to reflect on your performance in a 15-minute facilitated debriefing. There are five phases to our debriefing. First, setting the scene, then reactions, then a description, then an analysis, and finally, a summary. You will see a countdown clock and can pause the video if you need more time in any section. Number 1. Setting the scene. The goal is to discuss lessons learned from the case so we can improve how we work together and care for pediatric patients in the ED. The debrief is a way to celebrate areas of great performance and discover opportunities for improvement. During the debrief, we ask that you share your feelings, knowledge of the events, and we hope that this will help you to improve. Please follow the basic assumption that everyone participating in this debrief is intelligent, capable, cares about doing their best, and wants to improve. Number two, reactions. Please share your initial reactions and feelings. Some examples would be anxious, stressed, excited. Number three, description. 
Can someone please share a short summary of the medical facts of what happened during the simulation? Number 4. Analysis We will now spend time exploring performance. Let's start with what went well. Please share any observations that you as team members or facilitators had. Now please share any opportunities for improvement. What could have gone better?
Are there any burning questions that any of you had about the case? Now let's spend time to provide each other focused feedback or observations in different performance domains, including clinical decision making, teamwork, communication, and technical skills. For your reference, the performance domains are listed here. Some sample prompts for your discussion could be, how do you think the team did in identifying priorities in the care of this patient? How do you think the team did in managing priorities in the care of this patient?
Discuss any other performance domains you would like to focus on.
Number five, summary. Each participant and facilitator should now provide one takeaway that you will apply in pediatric care in the future based on this experience. If the same clinical scenario were to arrive here later today, what would you do the same? What would you do differently? Thank you for participating in Simbox. We hope that this was a useful experience. Please go to asepsim.com to find more cases or to get involved in this work. Please use your device to capture this QR code and complete this three-minute survey to help us track use and improve the intervention. Thank you for all you do to ensure optimal care for acutely ill and injured children whenever and wherever it is needed.